اهلا في كل مكان اهلا ومرحبا بكم احنا معاكم النهارده هنستكمل حوارنا مع سعاده السفير بوتابون اتوكسان سفير مملكه تايلاند لدى جمهوريه مصر العربيه في لقاء اليوم هنتحدث عن العلاقات المصريه التايلانديه فتابعونا وهذا اللقاء مشاهدينا في كل مكان وبنستكمل معاكم حوارنا مع سعاده السفير بوتابون اتوكسان سفير دوله تايلاند لدى جمهوريه مصر العربيه Your Excellency, thank you so much for having us for the next time to talk about the relations between Egypt and Thailand. Welcome. At the beginning, can you please tell us more about uh, the relation between Egypt and Thailand and is there any trade and investment in between the two countries? Yes, of course. Thank you for, for the question. Uh, first of all, I just want to uh, uh, tell you that uh, Egypt is the first Uh, Arab country that uh, Thailand has uh, diplomatic relations with and uh, we have had the good relations for uh, 67 years uh, old now and we uh, and we going to uh, celebrate our 70th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations between Thailand and Egypt next year um, let's talk about the um, the trade and investment Uh, this is your question um, about the trade uh, relations between Thailand and Egypt uh, let me tell you that uh, the trade volume between the two countries uh, is more or less uh, 1 billion US dollars uh, our uh, export from Thailand to Egypt are the chemical products uh, rubber products vehicles auto parts, canned food, canned tuna, canned fruits, and, uh, and uh, some uh, electrical appliances. And uh, from Egypt, we import uh, from Egypt are the natural gas uh, machines and also some other equipments and also the clothes from Egypt. Uh, regarding the uh, trade cooperation, uh, we, Thailand and Egypt are working to conclude the MOU or the agreement on the establishment of the Joint Trade Commission at the minister level. It means that if we can establish the Joint Trade Commission the Minister of Commerce of Thailand and the Minister of Trade of Egypt will co-share the meeting and enhance the cooperation on trade between each other. Uh, about the investment, unfortunately that uh, uh, the investment between Thailand and Egypt is a little bit low. It's a little bit low. Why it's low? Uh, in my personal opinion, uh, I guess Thailand and Egypt are quite far away from each other. Thailand is in Southeast Asia, Egypt is in Africa, North Africa, so we are quite far away. And the second one is that the, the Thai investors and the Egyptian investors uh, don't have enough information about the investment opportunity or investment incentive. Uh, when they don't have uh, information, Uh, they don't want to take a risk. Mm -hmm. And the third one is that uh, by nature, investors prefer to invest in their comfort zones. It, uh, for example, uh, Thai investors prefer to invest in uh, neighboring countries uh, or maybe some other Asian countries uh, like China, Korea, or Japan. And vice versa, Egyptian investors prefer to invest in the North African countries, or Middle East, or Europe, because it's very close, because it's very close. So uh, these are the, the factors that why the investment between Thailand and Egypt uh, is a little bit low. What we are trying to do is that as a Thai embassy, as a government agency in, in Cairo, in Egypt, Uh, we try to, to provide more information to, to the Thai investors. Uh, what is the incentive and what is the opportunity for investment in Egypt? For example, we, we told them that uh, Egypt is in uh, North Africa, not far from Europe, not far from 
uh, Middle East, and it is in Africa. And Egypt is the member of the um, FTAs, the Free Trade Agreements, and also Egypt is a member of the uh, Commerce and the African Free Trade uh, Agreement as well. So we can take uh, these uh, advantages for, for our benefits. Um, furthermore, the, just a few weeks ago, we invite the high-level representative from GAFI, uh, General Authority of the Foreign Investment of Egypt, and also representative of the Suez Canal Economic Zone uh, to visit uh, Thailand to meet the Thai investors to provide the first-hand information about Egypt mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, they will have more information uh, what is the opportunity and uh, uh, incentive if they want to invest in, uh, in Egypt. So it was a very successful visit because the, uh, around 40 or 50 investors uh, and companies attend the briefing session. And I have heard that uh, uh, some companies in the auto part industry and the textile industry express their interest to, to invest in Egypt and they plan to visit Egypt to see the land, to see the infrastructure uh, by their own eyes. Um, uh, vice versa, I just want to uh, uh, give you some information about Thailand. Uh, Thailand uh, has a world-class infrastructure, and uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, that uh, we are moving toward the uh, to be an uh, investment hub in the region as well. Uh, we have the mega project like a Suez Canal Economic Zone. We call it uh, Eastern Economic Corridor, EEC. It's a special economic zone where, uh, where we welcome the foreign investments. And the uh, EEC uh, focus on the, some uh, strategic uh, clusters, for example, uh, digital technology, uh, renewable uh, energy, and uh, smart logistics. So I'm sure that uh, there are a lot of uh, potential Egyptian investors, mm -hmm. yes, could uh, pay attention to Thailand as an uh, uh, investment hub in the Southeast Asian region. Thank you. Furthermore, just want to tell you that uh, the Prime Minister of Thailand uh, has extended the official invitation for the Grand Imam to visit Thailand as a guest of the Thai government. So uh, we hope to uh, receive the Grand Imam in Thailand in the near future so that uh, there will be an uh, opportunity to enhance the cooperation uh, in education between the Thai side and uh, our Sat University. Uh, further than that, I just want to tell you that we, we are trying to encourage the Thai students to come to Egypt to study non-Islamic uh, subjects, uh, which the Egypt has expertise, for example, uh, maritime transportation and maritime logistics. And this is the, what you have is a, is a best practice that we can learn from, from, from the Egypt. And uh, last year, we, we, uh, we were successful to encourage one of the best universities in Thailand to have uh, education cooperation and agreement with the AUC, the American University in Cairo. This is a very good start to have more uh, education uh, cooperation between Thailand and Egypt. And what about the field of tourism? Both Thailand and Egypt, they have um, the field of tourism is one of the main fields that have uh, or brings a, a big income to the countries. So, is there any kind of cooperation between the two countries in this field exactly? Uh, we are trying to have uh, cooperation in the tourism uh, area between Thailand and Egypt. I I can tell you this. Three years ago, the present CC of Egypt met the Prime Minister of Thailand. Uh, the present CC mentioned about the tourism cooperation between Egypt and Thailand, and he said both countries can exchange the best practice and the experience on the tourism. 
This is a very good start. Tourism Authority of Thailand visited Egypt, and he met uh, his counterpart in Egyptian Tourism Authority. So they agree in principle that they can have more uh, cooperation to increase the number of tourists between Thailand and Egypt. And also they agree to have the uh, MOU between each other. So this is a very good start to, to have more cooperation in the tourism area. And how about the cultural cooperation between the two countries? The cultural cooperation, um, let me let me tell let me sh uh, let me share my personal view about the culture in Egypt. Um, Egypt has a rich history, and uh, and Egypt has a, one of the great and earliest civilization. Everyone knows that. And uh, since the pharaonic uh, period until Islam entered into e Egypt and play a leading role. Uh, Thailand, uh, we don't have a rich history and uh, civilization as old as the Egypt has, but we have our own diverse and uh, unique uh, culture. Uh, so we are slightly different. We are slightly different in terms of uh, 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 religions because uh, we are Buddhist, Egyptian, or Muslim. Uh, way of thinking, way of living, we are slightly different. And uh, I have been in Egypt for two years and a half. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I have, I, I am aware that uh, there are some social value uh, which we share uh, the same, I mean, the same social value. Uh, the first one is uh, family. The second one is hospitality. Uh, both Egyptian and Thai attach importance to family very much. Uh, they live in the big house Everyone, uh, father, mother, uh, grandson, granddaughter, uh, live in one house, and we never leave uh, our father or mother in the hospital alone. We will never leave them in the care center. It's the same to Thailand. We attach importance to family. And hospitality, uh, yeah, we, we treat our, our strangers like I said, we treat our strangers like a guest, and we treat guests better than our relatives. This is the same uh, social value that the uh, Thais and Egyptians uh, have. Your Excellency, you said you have been here for two years. That takes me to a, a two questions, actually. The first one is your favorite uh, touristic destination here in Egypt, and the second one is about the Egyptian cuisine which can lead us also to talk about the Thai cuisine that Your Excellency had a sample of it here, the traditional Thai cuisine in front of us on the table. Yes. So which one would you like, Your Excellency, to start with uh, your favorite uh, um, tourist destination, for example, here in Egypt, which is what? Uh, yes, I, I have a fantastic uh, opportunity to, to, to travel around Egypt. Uh, Siva, uh, of course, Luxor, Aswan, Abu Simbel, uh, Hurghada, Sharm El Sheikh, uh, and uh, and Cairo. <laughs> um, actually, uh, actually, my 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 favorite place is the uh, Alamein. Alamein, yes, in winter because I, it's quiet and it's cold, uh, and uh, the the sea is very very beautiful. The beach is very beautiful. That's my favorite uh, place in in Egypt. For the cuisine, we would like to first. Can you please uh, introduce us the Thai cuisine that we have in front of us here? Yes. And and then we can talk if uh, if you already tried any of the Egyptian cuisine. Which uh, what exactly did you like in it? Okay. Of course, okay. yes. Uh, I tried. I I, I will introduce uh, the the Thai curry. One of the Thai curries, which is famous uh, among the uh, the foreign tourists. Uh, this one, uh, we call it the Masman curry. Uh, in 2021, uh, CNN ranked number one, the best curry of the world. It's a Masman curry. Uh, and the second one is uh, hot and spicy soup with prawns. And also again, uh, in last year, uh, CNN ranked uh, uh, one of uh, 20 best soup 
of the world as well. And we have uh, a lot of dishes which uh, rank uh, the top 10 or top 20 best dishes mm -hmm. of the world. Yes, yes, yes. So those are, um, are also one of the traditions food that you had already. And I think the curry thing, uh, maybe because early in the episodes we talked about how the Indian uh, culture have uh, influence on you. I think the Indian culture also, our cuisines, they have the curry a lot and that's one of their main components. So maybe uh, also you had it part from India or what? Uh, yes, the, actually it's, it's, it's uh, in, uh, Indian style curry and uh, of course uh, uh, the root is from from India but uh, we, we just adapted a little bit until we have a unique taste, until we have a u unique taste. Something just for Thailand. Yes, uh, you cannot find it uh, somewhere else, that's only in Thailand. What about the Egyptian cuisine? Did you try to something and what, uh, what's your favorite dish? Okay, uh, I, I have a good opportunity to try a lot of uh, Egyptian dish, uh, maybe shawarma or uh, koshari, mm -hmm. uh, hammam, uh, morokia, and uh, uh, main dishes, really. uh, yes, the main dishes, dishes and uh, kebab or uh, kuftar. Uh, my favorite Egyptian dish is the morokia soup. Morokia. Uh, morokia, yes, I, I love it very much. I, I can have it every day. <laughs> you eat it as a soup or, or like the Egyptian, you eat it with the bread? And uh, with, with the bread, with, with the bread, bread. yes, <laughs> with the, the edge. Way. Yes, yes, of course, of course, yes. The last question I'm going to ask you, Xansi, is about the role of women, because I'm a woman. I would like, of course, to know more about the role of women in Thailand. Can you tell us more about it? Please? Yes, of course. The, uh, Thailand is like uh, other countries. Uh, in the past, uh, in the history long time ago in Thailand, the role and the status of women uh, was limited to household works and taking care of the family members. But now the world has changed. Uh, Thailand also has changed. We are, Thailand is an open country right now and we attach importance to, to the rights. Uh, we have the human rights, women rights, uh, student rights, animal rights, or even the prisoners' rights. So um, now the status and the role of women are highly respected in Thailand. We have a female uh, high level officers in the army, in the police force, in the government agencies, uh, or even in the uh, cabinet ministers. We have the female, a lot of female ministers. And uh, the most important thing, the most interesting thing is that we had female prime minister once. We كان لقاءنا النهاردة استكمال للحديث مع سعد سفير بوتابون أتوكسان سفير مملكة تايلاند لدى جمهورية مصر العربية تحدثنا في حلقة اليوم عن العلاقات المصرية التايلندية وأيضا تحدثنا عن أبرز التعاون أو أوجه التعاون الموجودة بين البلدين كلمنا برضو عن المطبخ التايلندي والمطبخ المصري وإيه اللي كان بيميز الاثنين فيما يتعلق ب يعني ما يتعلق برغبات السيد سفير هو حب أني بالضبط من الأطباق المصرية وإيه اللي كان بتميزها وأيضا تكلمنا عن زياراته للأماكن السياحية في مصر وإيه أبرز الأماكن اللي هو حس فيها بمتعة وكانت العالمين الجديدة وده طبعا لأنه سيد سفير قال أن البحر هناك كان بحر مميز جدا والهدوء هناك كان ساعتها في الفترة اللي هو راح فيها كان هدوء ملفت وبالتالي كان في نوع من أنواع الاستجمام اللي شعر به واللي هو حابب إن شاء الله أكيد بالتأكيد أنه هو يكرر الزيارة دي مرة تانية بشكركم لحسن متابعتكم لنا على مدار الحلقتين وبتمنى لكم كل التوفيق وإلى لقاء آخر وإلى اللقاء